Hello guys, in all of my previous videos you can see that I have programmed my ESP32 on the Ubuntu by using ESP IDF. This time I will show you how you can install ESP IDF and the required toolchain on the Windows 10. So let's get started. Go to the official Espressive ESP IDF documentation site. Click on the Get Started link and scroll down to the Step 1 Install section. Click on the Windows icon. On the next page, scroll down to ESP IDF Tools Installer and download installer by clicking on this link. Once, when the download is complete, run the installer. Accept the agreement and click Next. In this step, you need to choose Python 3 version. If you haven't installed version 3 of Python, you will get here option to download it. In this step, you need to choose Git version. Same as for Python, if you don't have installed Git or your Git version is lower than the 2.21, you can choose this second option to download it. I already have installed 2.28 version which is greater than the offered one, so I will choose this first option. Choose to download ESP IDF here. If you are working on some serious project and need stable version of ESP IDF, you can choose one of these offered versions. But if you want version with last features and updates, go and choose Master Development Branch. For location of ESP IDF, I prefer to hold it in my user home folder, and I suggest you to do the same. In my home directory, I'm gonna to create new folder with name ESP, and inside of that folder, I will create new one with name ESP IDF. Choose that folder and click OK. When you are sure that location is correct, click on Next. In this step, you need to choose location where you want to install toolchain, like Ninja, CMake, and so on. I love to have everything in one place, so I will choose to have this expressive folder inside of ESP folder. So just add slash ESP here. Make sure that you have chosen options for create start menu shortcut for ESP IDF tools CMD and register ESP IDF tools as Windows Defender exclusions. Click Next and then Install. At the end, click Finish and that's it. Now we can build projects. To build with ESP IDF, you have this ESP IDF command prompt. Difference between this and normal CMD is that in this one you will have all required environment variables, and in the normal one that is not the case. If you want, you can pin this command prompt to the Start menu for easier access. When you run ESP IDF CMD, you can see that environment is set automatically. All these tools are added to path and they are present only in this terminal session. Ok, let's try to build now. Don't forget that we are still in the ESP IDF command prompt. I will go to my home folder with command cd percentage user profile percentage. Now I'm gonna to desktop because that is the location where I want to create my project. With next command, I will make a copy of Hello World example on my desktop. CD inside of Hello World folder. With idf.py set target command, I will inform compiler that the code inside of this project is intended for ESP32 chip. Ok, now run configuration and once when the configuration is open, you can leave all as default. Press S for save and escape for exit from configuration. Everything is ready for build, so idf.py build. Once when building is done, you can flash your ESP32 with this command idf.py-p name of your port and then flash. If you don't know what is the port of your ESP32, you can find it out with device manager. When you plug ESP32 to your PC, it should appear in this list. Here it is. Mine ESP32 is on COM3. If you connect your ESP32 to your PC and instead of this Silicon Labs name you get something different, it means that you don't have installed driver. To install it, just go to Google and search for CP21OX driver and from the official Silicon Labs website download and install latest version. Now I will go back to CMD and invoke command for flashing, but don't forget that before flashing you need to put ESP32 into programming mode. Press and hold boot button, then press reset once and release boot. For port I can now write COM3.
After flashing, you can take a look what ESP32 sends to serial port by typing idf.py monitor. That's it. For exit from terminal, hold down Ctrl and press T followed by X. Thanks for watching and if you want, you can support me by leaving a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Till the next time, bye.